Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I feel like running my mouth. So let's go ahead and get into it. So shout out to Rachel for tagging me in a post um, that Sean King um, put up on his Instagram page. All right, so Sean King had a mouthful to say about Mr. Um, <laughs> Kanye West, right? All right, so this is what he said. <clears throat> It's got to the point where at Kanye West is going to get banned from Instagram and YouTube and other outlets. It might, it might even be his goal. He just released a new video where Pete Davidson is violently, violently decapitated. It shouldn't be allowed online. It's not art. No matter what he says, it's a threat of violence. It's wrong. And he's crossed so many gross lines that he is physically endangering not only Pete David's, David, David's son, but he's endangering his own family and their circle of friends. And what he's doing here happens often. Kanye knows he can't violently, violently threaten Kim and show a video of him cutting her head off. So he does it to Pete Davidson. It's a form of DV so that so many women experience it's causing real people real harm, not just Kim, but her business partners, artists who work closely with, who she works closely with and more. Listen, this isn't just conjecture. Kim and many of her friends are receiving violent, the R word, and death threats over all of this. They've all had to drastically increased security at their homes over it. And Kanye has been told this. Kanye even posts the text of Kim telling him he was endangering the whole family. That's why he says on his new record, your security is gonna need security, insinuating violence against them again. And if he wasn't Kanye, he'd probably already be arrested. But he now has put Kim and her friends in a real bind. They don't want to see a black man go to jail. They don't want the police to come to his house, but Kanye keeps dialing up these threats. What's wild is that Kanye is literally dating another woman while bringing that woman, I just saw it, around his kids while rapping that Pete better not be around his kids. Girl, that's how they all do. Girl, that's how they all do. Again, this is... Again, this is a clinical form of DV. So many women wrote me to say it happened to them, and it's not a joke. One, Kanye will remove these things. Two, then gaslight a non-apology. Three, then do something pro-black. Four, then do something overtly Christian. Five, then he'll say something very smart or witty. Six, then he will do something dangerous again. Seven, then he'll repeat the cycle except now real people are being harmed. Somebody said, and I think it was um, Rachel, I can't remember. Someone said that I guess Sean and Kim are like friends. Um, so some people will have the argument that he would have her back. I mean, girl, friends are not. Like, there's no way. Well, there are people. Um, some people blame it on their sign. He's a Gemini. That's what people, that's some people's argument. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know how any sane person could look at this situation with Kanye and think that he is right in any form or fashion. I honestly don't. Um, you could be the biggest, you could hate Kim, those Kardashians, but to even utter that what Kanye is doing is not that big of a deal. Um, we could all say that girl, at the end of the day, Kim, girl, you got him. Girl, you wanted them. You got them, right? Because I know that's what I've been saying. Girl, you wanted them, so you got them, right? Um, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that Kanye is psycho. I don't know why. I, I don't know. And, and I, clearly, Sean King has been in communication with Kim. You can tell by the stuff that he wrote in his post. Um... I'm sorry. I would have called. I would have called them. I would have called some white cops a long time ago. Sorry. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't really understand how so many of you 
willingly put up with shit like this. I just don't understand it. There's no way that Kanye could have been doing the things that he has been doing and I would be in Kim's shoes and baby, some officers wouldn't have been knocking on your door a long time ago. You wouldn't have received some type of paperwork. But now she feels as though she's stuck in this situation where she can't be the white woman to call the cops on her baby, her black baby daddy. I'd be goddamn if you can't. <laughs> Kanye shouldn't even have Kanye West should not even have access to his children. Yes, that's how far this should go. I don't know, y'all think because Kanye make a couple of cute songs and put out some cute clothing that all of a sudden that excuses him from violent behavior. He's already violent, okay? Y'all think just because he hasn't physically touched anyone yet that he should get a pass and one because again, it's Kanye West. No, he don't get a pass at all. And the truth of the matter is I remember when this I remember I used to defend Kanye because I really felt like when he was when he was walking around here saying all that crazy stuff about slavery was a choice. I was on the World Wide Web defending Kanye because I really felt that he had like mental health issues because there's no way because I couldn't wrap my brain around. How could this man go from George Bush don't like black people right to slavery was a choice. So I was like, it got to be, you know. But now that's out the door. <laughs> girl, that's out the door, out the window, girl. We done buried that girl now. Can't you know exactly what he's doing. Next week, he probably gonna come out with a documentary and everybody gonna forget, right? <laughs> then he could probably think he gonna say he gonna do something real ignorant and trifling. Then he gonna come out with that album or <laughs> uh, come out with, you know, people gonna forget. I think it's sad that if this was Lil Nas X kissing a man on stage or dancing on stage with some boxer briefs, girl, the niggas would be on the internet having a fit. But when we need them to stand up and use their platform to speak out against something that absolutely re that really matters, girl, they silent. I think Sean King is the only one with a decent sized platform that has come out and called out Kanye for his fucked up sick behavior. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen the T.I.s and Bootsies and all the other men who have so much to say when it comes to gay and trans and lesbian. And girl, I, don't hear nobody, I ain't heard nobody say nothing. Kim is a better woman than I could ever be. It's, it's too, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Every time I look online, there are too many men that have killed their children, that have killed their ex-wives, their wives, for someone to take this lightly. All right. Tamar Braxton. Mama. <laughs> girl. Girl. So I just, I, I just saw, I literally just saw this. So, so, I don't know why I'm about to say Tanya. So, Tamar tweeted, Am I tripping? I do not like girls' trips. What's the point? I like a good vacation. It's giving matching outfits, drinking at noon by the pool, romantic sunsets. <laughs> First of all, those are two different situations. A, 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 a girl's trip, is you can't compare that to a trip with your partner, Okay. The second thing I want Tamar to do is to, mama, go see, I need you to go get some, we all need to be in therapy, but all I'm trying to say is this, and I'm going to say this as nicely as possible. Tamar, from what I understand, the men that have been in your life have pretty much been ain't shit, right? Your mama was the one who got on TV. I think it was Sister Circle and said that Vince was over there beating your ass, okay? That he was violent, that you were in a, in a domestic violence 
situation, right? Then David, they say, was a complete mess. And then I think that Tamar had already told us that she was in a, an abusive relationship prior to Vince. So Tamar's track record with these men, it hasn't been the best. So girl, while you sitting online talking about girl, you would rather have a vacation, bitch, you might need to be getting you some good, good girlfriends and going on a and going on a sister's trip, right? And y'all for y'all can laugh, hug, and cry. <laughs> Cause being with these niggas ain't doing you no good, mom. <laughs> you ain't caught on yet, girl. Wouldn't you just thought, wasn't you just on this nation the other day complaining about you not being able to get in contact with your son because your baby daddy, your ex-husband had your black ass blocked? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Ooh, child. Jennifer Hudson's daytime talk show to launch this fall on Fox TV stations. Girl, we talked about this. Remember like some months ago, they said that Jennifer Hudson was supposedly set up to get a show. All right. It's official. Beginning this fall, Oscar and Grammy winner Jennifer Hudson will launch her very own daytime talk show on Fox. Um, according to Variety, according to At Variety, following the test pilot for the show that was shot last fall, the production company decided to move ahead with the Jennifer Hudson show. Speaking about the amazing opportunity to host her own show, Jay Hud stated, I have experienced so much in my life. I've seen the highest of the highs, the lowest of the lows, and just about everything in between. But as my mother always told me, once you, once you think you've seen it all, just keep on living. People from around the world have been a part of my journey from the beginning 20 years ago, and I'm so ready to join their journey as we sit down and talk about the things that inspire us and move us all. Um... I've always loved people. I cannot wait to connect um, on a deeper level and let the audience see the different sides of uh, who I am, the human being in return. And I couldn't be even, I couldn't be more thrilled to do it alongside this incredible team. We about, we're about to have a lot of fun and shake things up a little bit. As of now, no premiere for the show has, has been set. Um, congratulations. We love to see it. I mean, girl, listen, I don't know nothing about Jennifer Hudson and her personality. Um, I do think it's weird. When I look at the people who get, who are getting talk shows like Kelly Fox and Jennifer Hudson, I, ain't, I know it sounds like I'm hating. <laughs> you just hating, bitch. Girl, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, girl, when I look at Jennifer Hudson and Kelly Clarkson, they don't give me talk show tea. <laughs> they just don't. Even when I, and I've watched, I've tried to watch Kelly Clarkson's show. I mean, clearly someone's watching. I think her, I think Kelly Clarkson's show is doing, doing pretty good, matter of fact. Um, but I've tried to tune in and watch, you know, Kelly sings down. Now Kelly can sing, but Kelly gives, Kelly gave me what I thought she was going to give me. You know, ask a couple of generic questions, right? Wow. Really? That's great. So tell us about your journey. That. That's why I that's why you need someone like Wendy Williams on TV. Because it separates her from the pack. Everybody else, even though, you know, you have Tamron Hall who is great at what she does. Who else? Um, Ellen DeGeneres. I think she's I think her show is about to end. Um, but I just feel like you need someone like Wendy. And I don't think once, now that Wendy's show is over, I think everybody's show is pretty much going to be uh, the same. I don't know, girl. It sound like I'm hating, huh? Shout out to Jennifer Hudson, girl. If you ever have a panel, girl, girl, you see, I'm trying to get a picture. Ah! Listen, 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 I get on here talking my shit and ask them to be on their show. Here, I done talked about Sherry. Sherry, girl, if you have a panel, girl, let me come on this panel. Girl, Jennifer, girl, if you have a panel, girl, let me come on this panel. Kelly, girl, let me come on your show and spice shit up, girl. Now, I don't think I'll be good on Kelly's show, girl. I had a white people running out that, uh, running out that field. <laughs> Anyway, shout out to Jennifer Hudson, honey. All right, who else? 
<clears throat> Hold up. I don't want to talk about that right now. I don't want to talk about that either. I'll talk about that tomorrow. Don't want to talk about this? I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> I got so much stuff. I got so much stuff on my iPad that I need to talk about, but I'm because I know I know certain topics can get me worked up, or not even necessarily just get me worked up. I know certain topics, girl. I can go, you know. Oh, we can talk about this real fast. Jen Shaw wants Kim Kardashian to be part of her legal team. Jen Shaw revealed um, this is according to Page Six. Um, Jen Shaw revealed that her previous proposal still stands about Kim Kardashian. Um, about having Kim Kardashian join her legal team prior to her upcoming wire fraud and money laundering trial. Listen, Kim Kardashian is not officially part of the Shaw, a part of the Shaw squad legal team yet. People thought I was joking around when I was like, do we need to add Kim Kardashian to our legal team? I was dead ass 100 serious, Shaw said on the um, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City after show. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star 48 said that she has mad respect for Kardashians, for Kardashians' legal pursuits over the recent years, which include recently passing California's baby bar after three failed attempts. Girl, y'all so messy. Girl, y'all did not. <laughs> I have to add another. That girl failed that thing three times. Mama finally passed, girl. Okay. Helping free Alice Johnson and advocating for criminal justice and prison reform. Girl. <laughs> she has been able to be she has been able to be an advocate and affect change for people who have been wrongly accused of crimes, Shaw continued. They're innocent, and then she was able to help help be part of the movement to, you know, go fight for them at the White House um, or with the government to get them released. <laughs> Girl, I'm not reading all this. Jen Shaw, you one delusional bitch. <laughs> Jen done got her ass on TV, and it was a messy bitch like me who was over here, okay? It wasn't just me. It was me and you and you and you and you. We was all over here doing the math. Now, where, 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 where her husband work at? He a coach? Uh -huh. And what she do? Because I'm looking at this woman lifestyle. And I'm looking at when they go to Las Vegas, they getting the whole stores shut down. Because I can't go get no... They're not going to shut no down. <laughs> they're not going to shut no down. <laughs> <laughs> they not shutting no soul down for me. Okay? So I'm trying to figure out, girl, you getting whole stores shut down. So I'm over here. Yes, I am in your pockets. <laughs> yes, I am in. Yes, we were in her pockets. So we was over here trying to figure out what was Jen doing. Jen, how Jen got this lifestyle? And some of y'all helpers tried to convince me, well, you know her, 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 her husband is a coach. Girl, the coach of who? Now, girl, unless you're gonna, unless you're gonna tell me he'll coach with some NFL team or some real top tier university, that's the only way you're gonna get me to believe. But him being a little coach for some little university in Utah ain't gonna cut it for me. <laughs> and then come to find out, they say he was an assistant coach. And girl, he was always gone. Girl, that man, that man can't stand Jen. I don't care what nobody say. So, girl, I don't know what Jen gonna do. Jen, you think this is the game? This whole calling your squad, the Jen, what you call them? The Shaw squad? The Shaw squad. <laughs> I don't know if Jen did it or not. You know, I was real, when it came to Erica Jane, I was real kind of like, I didn't know. I knew she wasn't telling the 100% truth. I do know that. That's the only thing I could that, that I could say. That bitch lying about some of the stuff she's saying, <laughs> right? But with Jen, I don't know, but I believe the allegations are true. <laughs> Cause I was just like, girl, this not adding up. This lifestyle, 
And then when she got to the reunion, it, if you go back and watch my review over the reunion, I said, I don't know what that girl just said. When she tried to explain what she did and how she made her money, I was like, girl, what? <laughs> I don't know. And then Heather, I think Heather came behind her and tried to explain what, girl, listen, <laughs> girl, just like with Phaedra. Yeah, yeah, like with Phaedra couldn't explain what Apollo did and then Candy had to come behind her and, and explain to us what what Phaedra's husband did. Basically, he was a repo man. <laughs> Anyways, girl, <laughs> I'm gone. I'm about to make me a cocktail and I'm about to sit here and watch a movie until I fall asleep. Bye, y'all.